Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to create the side-to-side -side VPN in Palo Alto devices. But before uh, continuing the configuration, this time I want to do it from the scratch in GNS3. But I uh, changed the speed of the video uh, to know that how we create the lab in GNS3 and then uh, we will do it side to side VPN uh, together just I do the basic configuration with the fast speed Right now we have configured uh, the basic configuration in devices so um, now I'm in Kali 1 inside 1 actually with IP address of 191.68.10.1 I can access to the firewall so here uh, the first step is to create the uh, VPN tunnel and you go here and click on add and after that you can create a tunnel with a number like number one and the the virtual router is going to be a default security zone you can create a security zone here and I call the security zone here VPN and click on OK and OK again so uh, the tunnel is created the next step is to create the IKE gateway but before creating the IKE gateway you should create the IKE crypto and IKE IPsec crypto as you can see uh, if you have um, if you want to select a different encryption authentication or def helmet group you can select it here but by default uh, the def helmet group is two authentication SHA and encryption is triple S so I accept the default configuration for the IK crypto and the same thing for IPsec so the default configuration for ESP here is 
again the encryption uh, that we have here triple des and aes128 and the authentication is sha uh, i accept that one and now i go to create the uh, tunnel like a gateway here I call it side one tunnel and I am using IK version one so the interface that now I am using look at the diagram here because uh, it's very important to understand the concept uh, the interface now is interface one one so I click I select the interface one one and the, the local IP address for that one is ten 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 one that's correct and the pure IP address pure IP address is this one ten 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 two so I just enter here ten 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 two and the authentication method is pre-share key you set the key here between two tunnels two sides side one and side two should have the same uh, pre-share key so i set that the same pre-share key for that one and the minimum key should be in both sides the same um, the local identification uh, you can set here as IP address and the pure identification you can set it as IP address again so um, so for for here I just enter the local IP address 10 10 10 1 and for pure I enter the 10 10 10 2 click OK here and then you go to uh, network and IPsec tunnel and add the IPsec tunnel here let me bring it a little upper yeah it's better now to see the bottoms okay uh, this one is a side one IPsec tunnel and the tunnel interface here is going to be a tunnel one and here again we have a IK gateway that we created in previous step and we use the default configuration here so we don't change anything else and if you if you have another device such as cisco device you should use the proxy id for that one but here we have two palo alto devices so we use the same uh, uh, general uh, configuration for both devices click ok now we go to another side and configure the another side so I connect to, to the firewall in another side and I enter the username and password for 21 now we are here actually connecting from 22 to this side of the firewall again uh, we go to tunnel to create a tunnel for for the, uh, the other side again tunnel one and the virtual router is going to be default security zone create the security zone here I create it as a VPN and next step is going to be because we accepted the default configuration of IPsec and IKE so you can go for the IK gateway 
and create the IK gateway again. So again, side two tunnel, and I use IK version one. So again, I'll show you the diagram to understand better uh, this part. So here, uh, the interface that is connected to Palo Alto uh, is interface one. So I use interface one, and the local IP address is ten 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 two. That's correct. And let me continue um, uh, the steps with the local IP address ten 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 two and peer IP address is going to be 10, 10, 10, 1. Just share key, pre-share key. I enter the same key that I entered inside 1. And the local identification is going to be IP address and 10, 10, 10, 2. And for the peer identification, again, we have 10, 10, 10, 1. And we don't have any other options here. Just okay that. Let's go for creating uh, IPsec tunnel. And the IPsec tunnel here, uh, add a new tunnel. So I call this one. Uh, tunnel to IPsec and the inter tunnel interface is going to be tunnel 1 and the IKE gateway is going to be a side 2 tunnel and the default configuration here the same as the previous step and click OK so now we have the side-to-side -side VPN between two sides so the next step is going to be creating virtual route and here in the default you can create the static route uh, to pass the traffic uh, if you look at the diagram we're here and we want to reach the network 10 0 so I created a static route that anything that any traffic that passed through the tunnel reach to this network so uh, I created a static route add a new static route here and call it um, default route maybe is and the destination is going to be for this side is going to be uh, because the other side is 10 0 slash 24 you write it like this and the interface you're using is tunnel 1 and set the next hop to num and just okay that okay this is a step so now we have created the static route the next step is to create the policy and the policy that we are creating here because the traffic that passes through the tunnel we should say that any traffic you can separate you can have a two policy for source destination from the VPN to uh, to your um, tunnel so I call it I call this one VPN and here you can add this source as a trust destination as VPN if you want to have a more visibility you can have a separate uh, policy for source and destination VPN um, 
that one was source was VPN2 and this one is from VPN source to trust Destination is gonna be trust, yeah. So now we have more visibility about the uh, tunnel. So I commit my configuration here uh, in this site, and I will go to other site to set the default route and uh, the policy. So in in site one. Uh, we have created the tunnel and the IPsec and the crypto and so now I create the default gateway for site 1 and after that I commit my configuration so I have already committed my uh, configuration in site 2 so here I create a static route it called default route and the destination here if you look at that the network that we're looking here is 22 so uh, 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and the interface is gonna be a tunnel one and next hop none and okay that part now let's go and create the policy the same as the slide 2 and then commit configuration uh, I call it VPN for this side again from trust to VPN We have this one and from VPN to trust again VPN 2 from VPN to trust zone all right and I commit my configuration so the next step is gonna be to verify the tunnel is up or not so we will go to uh, network again network and IPsec tunnel uh, to see that the tunnel is up or not so sh let me see the show the route the route is working and the status is up but here uh, there is no traffic on the tunnel so we should create traffic uh, in the tunnel the best way to tr create the traffic is to ping the other side so just I can let's try some pings uh, ping 192.168.21 the other side and let's try maybe 21 or 22 from the other side to see that it's pinging or not so yeah you see that when we create the traffic uh, the tunnels uh, if you click on the tunnel information it shows that the traffic is passing through the tunnel and the tunnel between the, these two interfaces is up the reason that I am not getting ping because uh, I think the others oh the scale is down so I bring it up and ping it again so I bring up the other side 
and now ping 192.68 22 so now we have a ping from this side to other side and let's try from this side 10 to so we have a successful ping i hope this has been informative and thanks for watching